Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday I did a segment on Matt Gates becoming speaker. I was reading from a Newsweek article on New Year's Eve. Matt Gates will become will be de facto speaker after McCarthy concessions, according to Bannon. That is essentially the case, ladies and gentlemen. So this new this Newsweek article is foreshadowing the future in that even if Even if, and this is very important, I want everyone to understand this for the next four years, even if Kevin McCarthy becomes Speaker of the House, let's say he doesn't on his first try, but does on his second try, you're not getting McConnell, you're not getting anyone close to McConnell, you're getting essentially Matt Gates. Now, if you look There's a fantastic Politico article on McCarthy relents on key conservative demand, but uncertainty remains over Speaker Bid. If you scroll down, talks about in a lengthy conference call on Sunday, McCarthy and his team informed members that he would lower the barriers for rank and file members to attempt to depose a sitting Speaker. A change that some GOP lawmakers if adopted, the new rule would allow five members of House Majority, five members to force a vote of no confidence in their leader, a long-time demand of the party's right flank. Okay, you could get McCarthy replaced in a heartbeat. There are already 20 Republicans right now who don't really want McCarthy, including Matt Gates is leading all of them. Okay, so... Impeachment is certain. For people who say, oh, well, nothing's ever going to happen. No, no, no. You're going to, Biden's going to get impeached. Okay, he won't be removed. Trump was impeached twice. And he, over things that weren't crimes, by the way. um, And they still haven't indicted or charged Trump with any criminal activity, even though they've obsessed over that for seven years. Since 2015, they've been investigating and they found nothing. Anyway, the point is, There are graft and potential um, felonies linked to Hunter, his laptop, and obvious, obvious schemes that are, you know, it's break, you're breaking the law when you're promising to alter U.S. foreign policy. Within those emails, you have, you have corporations and individuals throughout the world saying, asking, how can you use your influence on the company's behalf? That's according to the New York Post. So if you read the New York Post emails, and that's why Twitter and the Federal Bureau of Investigation, according to the Twitter files, we see you had government agencies preventing the truth because the truth leads you to vote Trump. If you know the truth about the Democratic Party, you vote Donald Trump. Okay, You might not like his personality, but if you know the truth about the Democratic Party, the fact that there are Democrats who do commit crimes, All the time. Hunter is an example, but Joe also possibly engaged in felonies. So when he's impeached, it'll be because Hunter and others around Joe obtained hundreds of millions of dollars or billion dollar deals that were not disclosed in his public returns. And they were promising either influence or the allure of influence on the behalf of those giving money. This is not rocket science. Why do you think they give money to Bill and Hillary's foundation, hundreds of millions of dollars? Okay. And by the way, I think Hillary Clinton will be the nominee in 24. And if, if and if Trump, and I will vote for Trump is my number one choice, DeSantis number two, but I think there's no stopping Trump in 23 and 24. I think that he can definitely regain the Oval Office, but, but if he doesn't, find some kind of way to form an alliance or a union or, an, uh, you know, give an olive branch or something to the Arizona and Georgia Republican parties, you'll have the first year of Hillary Clinton's presidency or eight years of Biden. Hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. And I've talked about that a lot. And I'll continue to talk about the state GOP, uh, the state Republican parties being a big issue. Hit subscribe. I'm glad that people are enjoying my analysis of the battle for Speaker of the House. 
every morning at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. Pacific. Expect videos on this channel. It's, it's an honor for me to share your uh, morning with you, your ride to work, uh, breakfast, drinking coffee. If you're listening to this channel in the morning, I thank you so very much. Expect forever, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. on H.A. Goodman. And also, in one hour, I have a segment on H.A. Goodman's other channel. And at 12, I have a segment on H.A. Goodman's other channel as well. So 8 and 11 on this channel, H.A. Goodman. And then 9 and 12 p.m. Pacific on H.A. Goodman's other channel. Become a member to my new Patreons. Thank you so very much. If you want to give a super thanks, that's below. And you can read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, other publications on hagoodman.com. And also, you can become part of a newsletter there. If adopted, the new rule would allow five members of the House majority to force, force a vote of no confidence in their leader. A long-time demand of the parties. Okay, so that's going to take place. And... Even if it's 10, you can get 10 members of, of, of the Freedom Republicans in, in a heartbeat, in two seconds, to replace McCarthy with somebody else. Matt Gates or Jim Jordan or James Comer. So Jim Jordan is going to be leading the House Judiciary Committee. James Comer is leading the House Oversight Committee. They're going to look at the influence peddling and the obvious graft and potential bribery schemes, felonies, criminal endeavors, possible criminal endeavors of our wonderful president, Mashed Potato Brains and Hunter. It's within the emails published in the New York Post. Every defense of Hunter and Joe ignores the actual emails and the money flow. And there are 150 financial transactions, according to CBS News that um, 150 financial transactions, according to CBS News, that were deemed problematic and investigated by financial institutions pertaining to Hunter and Joe. There wasn't one financial transaction pertaining to Trump, and Democrats obsessed over his tax returns forever. So you have to understand something. We live in... What I like, the, the people have used different movies, but I also like to use the analogy of Tron, the movie Tron. We're, we're in a video game. The video game is called 2016. Okay, we are stuck in that alternate universe. When Bernie Sanders was cheated and they blamed another country for informing Americans that Bernie was cheated... And he was apparently didn't have the courage or conviction or integrity to even acknowledge that they railroaded him. When Bernie Sanders was treated in the manner that he was treated by the Democratic National Committee, and emails proved, because they would have said, oh, it's another theory. Oh, Notice how all the absurd, bizarre theories are being proven true. Oh, that's right. Government officials did work with Twitter employees to silence conservatives. Democrats did undermine their own candidates' chances. It's within their own emails, actually. And after the emails came out, even Donna Brazil and Elizabeth Warren confirmed that, yeah, Bernie Sanders was cheated in his own primary. Why is that important? Because throughout that 2016 year, they were elevating Donald Trump. How do we know? Because the campaign emails showed that. The truth about the Democratic Party makes you vote Trump. And what they did is they repackaged and remarketed and uh, basically distorted in a revisionist, with revisionist history. And they said, well, a lot of very smart people in Intel community, uh, you know, all the people who are loyalists to the Democratic Party actually said that another country, the Kremlin, wanted you to vote for Trump instead of Clinton. And we've been stuck in that computer program. You can use the, the movie Tron. We've been stuck in a video game. What took place was there was the Mueller probe. And then after the Mueller probe, they went after Trump uh, for January and in Georgia and in New York, and they found nothing. And you have lifelong friends and family members who forget and never cared that Bernie was cheated, but um, 
with Bernie Sanders being railroaded in his own primary was a huge catalyst for all of this because they were able to commit an egregious sin and get away with it by lying even more. And then what they did was they got people so obsessed with Trump and and in such a McCarthy era, Red Scare, <clears throat> you know, 1950s McCarthy era political environment that now information, the truth, can easily be debunked and disparaged as information that misinforms because another country wants you to know how horrible uh, Democrats are. And then we get the 50 Intel people, and then we get Hunter's laptop being suppressed and censored. And now we're here fighting for uh, politically addressing the issue of a House of Representatives that's going to impeach Biden and hopefully address issues like immigration. And and I'm conservative on a lot of things now, a lot of things, especially the Second Amendment. But I want dreamers to become citizens. Um, Trump actually offered that, said, build that wall. Dreamers can become citizens. Democrats refused because Democrats, they would rather have a carrot and they would rather give this in, this this belief that one day they'll give Medicare for all or the, they wouldn't even vote on it on the House floor. Every single policy on the left, the major policies, they have no intention of fulfilling. They only lie to their voters and then blame Trump or the, or Russia for everything. But we have inflation through the roof. We have... After years of Democrats and bureaucrats and highly educated experts pushing to shut down the, econo the, the economy, Democrats say, oh, well, we passed the Inflation Reduction Act. Well, you caused the inflation. Oh, we passed the stimulus package and, well, you shut down the economy. Oh, we had to do those things. No, we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't at all. Those were choices made primarily by the highly educated, wonderful liberal Democrats. Um, and a whole bunch of other issues, trauma caused by never ending media coverage on a very important topic, but sensationalized coverage. Anyway, Matt Gates <clears throat> will eventually essentially be speaker of the house. So I don't want to hear ladies and gentlemen, oh, nothing's ever going to happen. I'm telling you, McCarthy will be better than you think if he actually does become, if and when he does become Speaker of the House. Be here at 11 a.m., ladies and gentlemen. God bless you all. Have a great day. I will have a live stream tonight at around 8 p.m., 8.30 p.m. Pacific. But um, he he will be a lot better because he knows that he can be deposed with just five, with just five, uh, five votes. Give me your thoughts below. Thanks so much. Go to H.A. Goodman's other channel right now. Thank you.